in our next fight, yes, we have a bet, and good lord willing, it won't be canceled. Um, Andrew Sanchez, the 11 and 5 middleweight. This we're at middleweight here is fighting Wellington Terman. Andrew Sanchez is plus 135. Wellington Terman. I always feel like I'm going to say that wrong, usually because he's lying next to like just the Tucker and the Terman next to each other. I'm just I'm working on it. But he's minus 155. Um, we really like Terman here. Uh, we like his ground game. And one thing that me and Mike have talked about in the past is this huge thing about this being in basically everything at the apex being in the smaller cage. That oh, it aids to finishes. It's really it aids into people getting you against the fence. And if a bully can finish you from there, they're going to do that. Or if you're used to circling out, running away, you have less room to do so. But a wrestler will get you up against the cage. And although Terman more has the jiu-jitsu side, he can pin you up against the cage, and that's when he can get his trip game going and get you on the ground. Uh, Sanchez has some good wrestling, but I do think that Terman has it there. Mike, get into the more nitty-gritty as our resident jujitsu expert at least in comparison to me with the nuts and bolts can you uh, give us our description and why we are betting wellington Terman at the minus 155 yeah well uh Terman is a bjj black belt himself uh he's super deadly on the ground sanchez is a bjj brown belt and uh you know a little bit behind him on on pace but i'm telling you Terman's ground game is to me just so much far superior than sanchez that he's going to be like a spider monkey on him if he get when he gets him on the ground uh, Andrew Sanchez, he's uh, you know, don't get me wrong, he's not a bad athlete. He's he's just he's he's decent, you know. He's more like he's just a mediocre, you know. I want not almost say dorky, but he kind of is, you know. He just he gets around and he gets around. But I think that Terman is gonna be m- just more aggressive, has more grit. We always like to talk about my drop them in the alley theory here, and that's uh, you know, just basically when I think that you drop two guys in an alley, uh, who's the tougher one? Who's gonna walk out of the alley? And I just really believe that Terman uh, is is that guy. He was gonna give me a fight for my money. He's going to have better jujitsu, and for that, I'm gonna be putting down a bet on him. Uh, what are the odds now, Bob? Minus one fifty five to win so, the one unit for us. So we'll be putting down 1.55 units on Terman to show that world-class jiu-jitsu and overall game against Andrew Sanchez, who I just, I think, a little bit too slow. Don't be mocking angles on fights, because everyone's got an angle. That's what betting is, is your angle getting you benefit of the doubt. And currently, Mike's drop him into an alley angle is rocking at about 75%. So those are some good odds right there. So 